Hey guys, we're playing my all-time favorite game in the entire world, which is Banjo-Kazooie. Another beginning let's play, and let's start with Gruntilda's Lair, the evil witch if you don't really know yet, but I'll be quiet. Story time. Look at those graphics. I mean, for its time. It came out in 1998. Rareware is honestly my favorite game company, but otherwise, Rareware has been ma making very good games. Uh, uh, I don't want to say that, because they've made Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, and look at it. It sucks, honestly. Sorry to putting you down. Xbox and Rareware, my favorite game company. But still, it's not a good game. They have made good games like Star Fox Adventures, which is probably the last game that they made that was very good, that I know of. Um, Rarer has been making very good games like um, Jet Force Gemini, which wasn't the better games, but it reminded me a lot of Banjo-Kazooie. It had the same, like, um, accents and voices, like, like, all those, like, motions, actions, voices, had a different plot line, and I'm gonna start the game. Right now, let me pick up a six. Check out what's going on outside. Bottles, what did you tell me? Let me move you over a little bit. I'm Banjo, I'm here with my buddy Kazooie. And this, honestly, since I was six, it's been one of my favorite games. Um, I agree, I love this game, it's very childish-like, but it's cute, it has a cute storyline. Grunty steals his sister Banjo, taking her away because she feels that she's not pretty enough, and it's kind of like Snow White in a bit, like Snow White is taken by the witch, and the witch wants her to kill her and everything. So it's basically like Snow White, press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or press B if you think you're already see they have good grammar you are already no b 
You bet we're good enough, bottle brain. They have cute little flip, the little cute little sayings and go-to movements. But it's very cute. I love this game. I'm glad this will probably be my fifth let's play. I'm, I'm doing all these things before I even get the moves. Uh, B is to roll. I use that a lot. Honeycombs are health, as he would say in a minute. Moving is with the stick, not the left side of the N64 controller. Personally, I don't have a game that uses it. I think the only game that I used to have that used it was Elmo's Number Journey, but I, I sold that actually a couple years ago. But B is to turn the camera behind you. I mean R is to turn the camera behind you. If you soar down there, it's a honeycomb, and that's for health. B in the water is to swim. I know there's six honeycomb pieces around, so... If you press A, it's to jump or fly in Kazooie's way. I never noticed this, but Kazooie is a girl, and Banjo is a guy, so you gotta get used to that. I think Z and then A is to super jump. In the second game, you could do another super jump, which is pretty nifty. The game is really fun. Ugh. I think there should be another one. Okay. Jump and then bees to do that peck. I don't really use that in the game. I use it rarely. I don't, but... Whatever floats your boat, B is to roll. I think you have to jump and then press Z. Or like that. You do that, you press Z and then B. I'm not doing the tutorial. I pretty much know the game. I'm sorry I don't do the tutorial. But in when you get used to the game, you learn more about it. And it tells you what to do, how to use it and stuff. The other tree. I don't really know. Boom, I killed a cauliflower. Ah, it's that tree right over there. My tongue hurts. I'm pretty sure the other honeycomb piece. I'm pretty sure the other honeycomb piece should be around here somewhere. Don't really know. Yeah. There you go. And these little Emmy trophies give you uh, awards. Look out for me, I'm an extra life. He's so cute. He's like a little Emmy you get. Nothing spectacular. Talking to bottles. And if you do all the tutorials, and the bridge will actually close up. When you do the tutorials, there's no bridge. And once you get through it, like, do all the tutorials, it will close up, and so you can go across.
every time you do a game over, it shows you what the rest of the movie of that was going to be about. And Gruntilda the witch, she will only ma always make rhymes, so whatever you do, she will always make rhymes. What am I doing? Over here is a puzzle piece. If you jump on it, you should collect a puzzle piece and like fill in the gaps to uh, go to a new world. It's kind of like Mario, but in a different sense. The first puzzle piece is all the way on the top of there. Each of them has little voices, so it's cute. And there you have it, filling up the first level. I'm gonna pause it here. I'm sorry, I've already taken, taken 10 minutes of your time. I hope you have lovely time watching this new Let's Play I made. Banjo-Kazooie, my favorite game. So we'll see you next episode. Hope